Hello and welcome to Quick Tips 10. And I was asked how you go about finding the highest high, the lowest low, the close, etc. of a period, which could be a day, a week, a month, a year. And to do that, probably the easiest way is to use a TradeStation standard function, which we're going to be looking at today. And that function is this one here, OH. LC open high low close periods ago function. So um, I'm going to show you how you call that. And I've created a little indicator here called Quick Tips 10. And uh, what we're doing is, well, let me just first of all go through the, uh, the inputs. And in fact, there are really only two inputs. The rest of these, it could be used as inputs, but we're not doing so in this function. But uh, we have period type, and what you put in there is a number, which is one for a day, two for week, three for month, and four for year. Periods ago, how many periods ago you want to find the high, low, open, close for a period? Um, how many periods ago you want to do that? Now, the function uses an array, and the array has got 51 elements, so that number can be maximum. 51. And then the rest of these we're going to be using, or they are, returning the values. So for example, returning the period open, period high, period low, period close. Now just to demonstrate, um, we're just going to be looking for the period high and low, and we're going to be plotting those on a chart. So uh, let's just go back to the chart and check if this is working correctly. This is on a daily chart. And uh, indeed, you can see that every time we go into a new week, we uh, change the uh, the low, which is the, uh, plotted here in yellow, or the high, and it reflects what the highest high or the lowest low was for that week. Now, this will also work if we were to change the symbol to, in fact, I've already, just go back to, uh, for example, a minute chart. It will work just as well. You see here, moving on to a new week, and it reflects the high just there and a new week and it reflects the low just there and plots them. Now this uh, function, this trade station function does not work with non-time based charts like for example, Kagi and Case, etc. So the other thing I wanna show you is we've got this set at the moment as you probably saw uh, with this figure here, which is the period type set to two, which is week. What we're also gonna do is do it for monthly. So I've already got this um, ready here. So it's exactly the same apart from I'm putting a three there and you'll see also that I'm using different values for the outputs and uh, of course different plot values as well for the period high and low of the month. So I'm just going to verify that and go back to the chart and what we should see now, if we just go to the daily chart, we'll see four lines because what we're seeing now is the, the weeklies and the monthly. So the monthly updates at the beginning of the month for high and for low, and the weeklies are exactly as we had before. Uh, now, bear in mind that you've got the uh, open, high, low, close. You can do this for daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. Uh, bear in mind though, that this is getting information from the chart. So in other words, if you want to get an accurate reading for, for example, a month, you need to have at least uh, a month's worth of data for the previous month, uh, or rather a whole month's worth of data for the previous month. Anyway, uh, hopefully uh, that will be useful to you. What I'll do is uh, copy and paste this just at the bottom of this video. Thank you.